This is a how-to video to hook up um, push button ignition onto a mower, lawn tractor. Purposes would be a mudding, if you're going to build like a mudding mower, a racing mower, or just you got a lawn tractor and you just want to figure around and stuff. So anyways, keep watching. This here is the roper mower that I have uh, push button ignition hooked up into it. And uh, well, this is how I did it. Every one of these mowers has a solenoid similar to this. Some are more circular and kind of flat, but they're pretty much all the same. Most of them have a typical ground wire that comes off and goes through ground. There's the white wire which engages the solenoid so that it gives power to your starter. Now this white wire is the wire that you're going to hook up to your gauge. As you can see, I have my push button gauge up in there. I have the white wire going to one side of the gauge on one side of my push button ignition and I have the red wire going down the other side and this is going into one side of the terminal now this will give it so that I have power to it now when I push the ignition it sends power down to the solenoid, kicks the solenoid in so then it gets on the other side of the terminal here which this blue wire will go down and start my starter Okay, so this is how it's done this, this red wire right here goes to the battery and it goes just up here to this same side of the terminal. I have a ground wire over there that so you can kind of see it back there. It's ground wire hooked to the other side. So now I got up. Okay. This wire goes up to the push, but push button switch as I already said. This little red wire that I have attached with it goes down and into this switch right here. Now this is the charging switch. Now this here goes up in under, <clears throat> goes up under under the flywheel, and these wires go to a little thing that's on the inside of the flywheel, which charges your battery, so um, like it doesn't die. And um, see, I'm just, I have it run right to a, the typical power source, right where my batteries run on too. So that's all good to go. And there's an orange wire that comes off. It's actually I just have a tape on the end, so it doesn't have any power. Those usually go to lights, but as you can see. I have like no front end or anything so lights aren't in my priority right now. So there's a terminal on the other side of this which is the one that isn't being engaged by the white wire when I press, push the button. It comes off, goes up and around and goes right onto this, the starter. So that's pretty typical. Now everyone's probably wondering, well whatever, how are we going to shut it off? But this is how it's done. You have, I have a switch here, tether switch, I'll show you. There's my, I have a little tether switch, toggle switch, whatever the fuck you want to call it. There's my push button, and that's what the other side of it looks like. What I have is I got one wire here going to a ground. This is on one side of the push button. And I got this one, it's coming down, comes back, comes down through here. And I have it going right into this wire, which goes in here. Now this is going to my coil which is giving power to my spark plug. Now, if this, this, if this is grounded at all, it will make it so that the, the coil won't give spark. So, when hooking this up, you've got to make sure that on would be with the power on and off would be the ground. But your, the, co the, the coil is kicked in when the, when the motor turns, the flywheel turns on the inside, kicks the coil in, then gives it power. But when you turn the switch to the ground, it grounds your motor and turns it off. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics on how to hook up push button ignition. There's a lot of switches that you can hook up. You can hook up actual horn switches. This one here is actually out of a car. It's a nice big one as you can see. It doesn't even have to be this big. It can just be a horn one. You can buy it like Canadian Tire anywhere. But um, yeah. how the solenoid looks like. Some of them actually don't have a ground wire. Some of them are actually grounded when you bolt them onto the side. I find that kind of weird. But yeah, I have a little blue wire coming off, off the actual power tube, but it just runs up and along and just goes right here. I kind of geared that up just in case if I did hook lights up, but I don't know what I'm going to do right now. This motor here is just sitting here. I haven't, haven't done much with it at all. 
I've been working on that piece of shit and nothing's working on it so I think the whole solenoid and everything's broken on it but yeah well that's the gist of putting a push button ignition I thought it'd be just handy just anybody want to gear up geared up maybe build like a go-kart out of one or something lower it so yeah actually it is a lot better too because like having a key switch lose the key or the key the terminals inside get rusty and then you have to find another key switch it's just 10 times easier just to do and then turn it off with the flick switch anyways yeah well this is dirty bird 11 always subscribe or rate whatever do whatever the fuck you want um um, I'll probably be having some other videos updated this week. It's a long weekend, so if I can find time, I'll do something else. Probably build another movie like I did last time. Anyways, thank you.